Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. Want some? No, thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Mm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? 
I wouldn't mind eating you. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Snake. I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. <laughs> what a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. So I should blow up the tanks. That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted? Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar. Use this key to open that door. 
the door right when I entered the main wing. Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Uh, okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double-cross me. Covered your weapons and equipment. Now I can finally go on the offensive. Time to pay Volgin back for what he did to you. Yeah, and then some. But first, you've got to destroy the Shagohod. The Shagohod is in the hangar in the main wing of the weapons lab. Go back to Grozengrad, make your way into the hangar, and destroy the Shagohod. You can get back into Grozengrad by going to the end of the cave behind the waterfall. Head back to Grozengrad.
Come in, HQ. This is HQ. What's going on? Respond. Ooh. There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status. to destroy the Shagohod. It's located in the hangar in the main wing of the weapons lab. To get into the hangar, use the door just inside the main wing as you enter it from the second floor of the east wing. Start out by heading to the east wing of the weapons lab. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. The completed Phase II Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass-produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the Cold War into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. 
That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. Uh. For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahorn. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo, like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Good, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off at the slightest shot. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecued. I'll keep that in mind. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. We're counting on you, Snake.
the enemy won't be able to follow us. That should at least buy us some time. I've also set up the escape route. How are things going on your end? I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay, I'll be waiting for you at the bridge. this time. <laughs> Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Snake!
This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The Philosopher's Legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the Legacy. You might say that this film itself is the Philosopher's Legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Isn't that right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell! You dirty whore. I've had enough. Kisses from you. I should have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the Philosopher's legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the Philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the Philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the Philosopher's Legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. 
After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra unit. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shago Hod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss. Take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Leave everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Ah, no more judo and no more field strips. Enough of this. He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me- Silence! Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? This is a once-in-a-lifetime battle. Let's 
make it a good one. I said shoot him! Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! I am your commanding officer. My authority?
fight like a man, Volgin. Volgin? Emergency. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Ocelot! Find those bombs! Repeat. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Move it! Huh. for some more snake.
see your dog. <laughs>